Yes, yes, it's Wazir here, and I'm not fucking happy today because there's two things that really bore my piss. One of them's Hotel Room Kettles, and the other is the term GTA Clone. Today I'll be going over the history of GTA Clones and try to give my argument as to why the term shouldn't be used. But before we begin, make sure to drop me a like if you enjoy this video, as it really helps me in the algorithm, and drop a comment with your thoughts on this video. Let's get into it, have it. So why does the term GTA clone piss me off so much? Well, because it's stupid, that's why. I mean, come on, the idea that any crime game that happens to have an open world is somehow a rip off of GTA and needs to be deemed a clone is so fucking fanboyish it's laughable. Grow up, you virgins. And it ain't even just crime games that get mistreatment either, but I'll get into that later. For now, let me give it to you like this. If Sleeping Dogs is somehow a GTA clone, then the Elder Scrolls must be an Ultima clone. Sonic must be a Mario clone, it's the same shit. And it's not even like it's the first genre to get this treatment. Once upon a time Call of Duty was considered a Medal of Honor clone, before that people were calling any FPS a Doom clone. And much like GTA, Doom was not the first game within its respective genre. That's right, GTA was not the first third person open world crime game, and if y'all don't believe me, let's take a look at the history. Driver 2, released in 2000. In many ways, you could argue GTA 3 was a Driver 2 clone. They play very similar and they had fairly similar stories sharing many common themes. And the first Driver game from 1999, that was the same. Funny considering Driver would later be accused of being a GTA clone. Shemnu from 1999. This beloved third person action adventure brawler contained an open world enough to warrant a GTA clone label by today's standards. Mafia. Although yeah, this was released in 2002, it was in production since before GTA 3, since 1998 to be exact. Die Hard with a Vengeance from 1996, an over the top violent crime game that allows you to free roam a city. You could argue that many GTA features stem way back to Hunter from 1991, an open world game where you can steal cars, boats, bikes and even tanks. It even had aspects of Hitman in there as you were sort of like a contract killer task with killing military generals and shit. In fact, I'ma go out and say it, GTA 1 wasn't even as revolutionary as some like to think. It was not the first ever top-down open world crime game. A small handful existed before GTA 1, with the earliest I could find being New York City from 1986. And you know what? You even had Vice City the same year. So now that I've proven to you that the term GTA clone is as flawed as hell, let's take a look at where this term even comes from in the first place. Of course, a fucking IGN article, cause of course it is, where else? Upon reading this article, they accuse Mafia of being a GTA clone, which as mentioned earlier, was in production far before GTA 3, but what's worse than that is they also list motherfucking Jack 2 and Spider-Man 2 as being clones. Spider-Man 2. And this is how retarded the term is, and they're not the only ones. I remember Infamous being called a GTA clone, Lego City Undercover, motherfucking prototype. None of these games are even slightly comparable to GTA, but because they have an open world, that label gets slapped on and everyone just goes along like a bunch of disabled sheep. Holy fuck, man. And if you're wondering why this shit even bothers me in the first place, well it's because one of my favourite game series of all time, Synchro, has been slapped with this label since the very start and it pisses me off. I mean anyone with a brain who's actually played both games can tell you that they are two totally different games. Sure at first glance they might look alike, but they don't feel the same, they feel totally different and for anyone to accuse Synchro of being a lazy rip off of GTA, it's either stupidity or ignorance. And this applies to nearly all GTA clones. Crackdown. Mafia. True Crime. These games don't feel like GTA to me and I think those who say otherwise are fucking stupid. Verdict. The term GTA clone is stupid. Three quarters of the games accused of being GTA clones aren't even attempting to emulate GTA, nor do they even come across that way, and even those that are actually trying to capitalise off GTA's success, who fucking cares? Rockstar have been doing it for years! But yo, that's enough ranting, if you don't agree with me then suck it, I don't know what to tell you at this point. But until next time, fucking have it!